chewing gum helped scientists discover DNA of 5,700-year-old ancient woman. The perks of chewing gum, right? Not only does it help you ease hunger pains and clean your teeth, it also acts as a boredom buster. Much like today's generation, people in the Stone Age were pretty comfortable leaving their chewed chewing gum wherever they pleased. Although the act of abandoning your chewing gum in inappropriate places is considered ill-mannered today, scientists are glad that our ancient relatives did just that. Archaeologists who were busy excavating ancient settlements are stumbling across these chewed remains, which is helping them learn more about the people who once chewed them. Late last year in southern Denmark, Archaeologists discovered a 5,700-year-old chewing gum, and according to an analysis published in Nature Communication, it belonged to a dark-skinned, dark-haired, and blue-eyed female. The ancient chewing gum's DNA could help scientists understand where it came from, the kind of foods people ate at that time, and the kind of diseases that were common at that time. Now the gum isn't the kind of gum we know today because that 5,700-year-old chewing gum is actually a birch pitch. A byproduct you get after heating up tree bark. While it's unclear why people chewed birch pitch, experts believe that due to its natural antiseptic properties, people may have chewed it to relieve toothaches or other illnesses. With the help of carbon dating, experts discovered that the gum was approximately 5,700 years old, which meant that people at that time had stopped hunting and started farming and domesticating animals. However, the DNA from the birch pitch revealed that the blue-eyed woman was related to hunter-gatherers from Western Europe. Although the woman lived in a more developed area, the pitch's DNA showed no signs of the said development, which only meant that while others at the time were farming and domesticating animals, the woman belonged to a settlement who were still hunters and gatherers. The chewing gum's DNA revealed that people back then dealt with pneumonia, gum infections, and herpes. While the chewing gum won't help scientists map how humans migrated across the world or help them discover when they started cultivation, it will help them understand how the chewer lived and what we still have in common. Hans Schroeder, lead researcher and evolutionary genomicist from the University of Copenhagen, stated that the chewing gum will help scientists understand how pathogens evolved and how they spread across the world. Schroeder concluded that the gum will help predict the behavior of pathogens in the future and if it can be contained or eradicated. Do you think this chewing gum can help us understand our past better? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and check out JoJo Stories for more jaw-dropping content we're sure you'll love. The world is filled with stories going viral every single day. But how many of these sites can you actually follow? We understand that your day should start with positive stories, stories that resonate with you. And so we started JoJo Stories. Our mission is to create meaningful stories that cover everything from animals to anthropology, history to environment and lifestyle. The kind of content you read on our site will be one you'll want to share with your family and friends. We hope you'll join our growing family and be part of our community. Welcome to JoJo Stories. JoJoStories.com.